Oh, oak, a lot of food, I just realized. Golden apple. Uh, we're over here at spawn, and you see this diamond beacon here. So this is pretty cool. I'm dropping off some diamonds, uh, some diamond blocks. Our goal with this is to make a full diamond beacon. Uh, all the diamonds you see here are actually donated by Karasa. He's a member of our server, and he doesn't have enough time to play too much anymore, so he gave all his diamonds and he said we could either try to make a full diamond beacon which is what we decided to do or just split them up among ourselves but he had over a stack of diamond blocks which is absolutely insane so we are well on our way to making a full diamond beacon and that's our goal here uh, so I'm gonna drop off those in there since I don't have enough to uh, like add another layer I'm just gonna leave them in that chest for now and once we get more then uh, we can eventually have a full diamond beacon that's going to be pretty awesome but something happened here uh all these diamonds were stolen so it looked like the uh the pirate pranker or the egg pranker uh was the one who was responsible for it but then these signs showed up saying that it wasn't the narrator and that it was actually someone impersonating him and then we all got into a Skype call and well a few of us got into a Skype call and went searching based on the clues that whoever did this left. We still don't know who it was. Uh, but we went searching for the diamonds based on those clues. And roll clip. So that we know it's not the same person, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. And then there's one book talking about a crown made of 738 pure diamonds. Oh, no. And that doesn't really <laughs> help much. A uh, giant rock fell from the heavens and made a huge hole in the ground. And then there's a second book, and that's the one that actually says where they might be. Uh, on, the hev on the fall of the heavens, it is said that long ago in a remote region of our land, a piece of the heavens fell. It shook the ground with a sound audible from miles away. The exact impact coordinates are yet unknown, but I believe it can be found north of the lighthouse somewhere in the distance. <laughs> Someone that found it and came back but didn't want to tell me the exact location said it's still burning from the crash. Yikes. I think that I'm the only one with a lighthouse. Yeah, I think so, too. So, I can assume that it's north of my lighthouse. Mm-hmm. I went in the complete wrong direction. I do that all the time. I have to look around first and figure out where I am. Make a right and make a full circle instead of just making one left. I've done it. That's what you did with the lighthouse twice. <laughs> oh, I know! I, yeah. I still don't know how I missed that door. Did you see that Jelly did the same thing? Really? Yes, I did. Oh, it was, so it's not it just so me. Funny. I thought that she was going to miss the door, too, but she actually found the door, but she went around the entire thing first. Huh. Yeah, you, you need to, like, put some kind of a huge sign. The door is here. <laughs> Pointing at it. Do you guys want to call Austin? You want me to call him? I think um, you should be able to join. Should, you should be able to join, because it's the bat's call. Oh. Okay. Uh, which way is north? East, south, north. That this way. way. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, there's the fire. Did you only just see the fire? Yeah, apparently it's been rendering really slow. Oh. I probably could have seen that from the lighthouse if I was looking for it. You think this is just going to be... Oh. Signs. I was expecting the diamonds just to be sitting here. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. Very That's interesting. <laughs> I don't like seeing my name on a sign in the middle of a prank. Busted. Is this gonna be it? Oh, there's another book. The only blocks I have on me are TNT. Are this <laughs> treasure to belongs out. to a guy who could shape land in a matter of hours? He built a mountain with his bare hands and created the legends. He say. The legends say he created a land of death, so what better place to hide his jewels if not in his own home? There's a wall between his house and the treasure. I hid it, but with the touch of a lever, it can be taken down. The remaining of the book is worn out and unreadable. Huh. Okay, do you need some, no some blocks? Karasa uh, TNT is perfect. made a mountain, didn't he? Okay. <laughs> Uh, he did. 
Oh, he did, yeah. And it, and it's hidden in his own home. I bet we gotta go to Karasa's. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Okay. I'm not sure where that is. Uh, it's pretty close to spawn. I think he has a portal. I'm not sure. He probably does. Oh! Invisible spider! And I fell down somewhere. Yeah, Yo, in that hole? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's literally one block. And I fell right there. I do have a health potion on me if anyone ever needs it. <laughs> just jump, jump, jump in the water. Aww. I, I'm not it falling for that. With my flame bow. <laughs> oh, but he can hear me. Never mind. We're going to cross this place. Oh, he's already there. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know where we were, so he probably oh, just okay, went okay. and I said it. Yeah, I don't know where we're going, so I shouldn't be leading. Yeah, I'm just following Kef. Oh, okay. I got this. Here, you guys took the long way. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> did somebody I'm, go down? I'm great at directions. Oh, there's a chicken. This is a nice looking place. I think the snow is a prank. Possibly, Whoa. there's a sign that says, Man, this place is cold. Yeah. Piper, you're floating in midair for me. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it looks really funny. Wait, are you shifting? No. It looks like you're shifting, but you're moving around quickly. I can relog again. No, 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 no. It looks cool. That's weird. This, this is really glitchy. All right, what are we looking for? It was said it was behind a wall. Wondering if I should dig under the snow. Austin thinks it might be mm. in the desert place that he was trying to build. Oh, oh wow! Which is possible if they were just I... using the mountain as a way to make sure we knew it was him. Mm-hmm. I bet you before. it is. Wow! Right, Did so he... Is this a hollowed-out mountain? I think he built the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I think he built it. I don't think it was just hollowed out. I think he actually created it. Wow. Our nether system is like a maze. Yes, oh, yeah. it is. <laughs> sort of. I'll come to the nether. Because a lot of people... Are you guys at the nether hub? I'm right behind you, Piper. Yeah, I see. I was, was somebody running else around the place. Lost? I was running around uh, his place. Yeah, I think so. Oops. Okay, here I am. This way. Can you? Oh, you can. Ow. <laughs> TNT setting things on fire. <laughs> oh, I think this was here. I think I saw this at some point. Oh, wall. Oh. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's not touch that. Anything is actually connected to something. If you were walking blood. through every block. Well, Am I really? I screen. Yep. Hit it anyway. <laughs> now you're standing in the air. These ghost hacks. It's too bad he didn't get to finish this. Oh, look! Ooh! Ta-da! Cha-ching! Where is it? Alright, first Guys. come, first serve. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh man. I need those. We're still gonna try to make a full beacon, right? Yeah. For so sure. I don't know don't think we know where we're gonna we're gonna ow. Someone's Was there a me. sign or was it just here? I think uh, it was I just sitting just here. Sign. So these are all going to the server, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what they were supposed to be, Where anyway. Ender Pearl go. Oh, 
Here it is. Spleef Piper! Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, let's make sure we don't miss any diamond blocks laying on the ground. So, we recovered the diamonds. Uh, that was a, a fun little uh, storyline that we followed there. And this area, yeah, around my nether portal, kind of crazy. So, I got a little TNT happy. Basically, what was going on is I wanted to start making uh, the gold farm that I've been talking about. And I, I need to design a gold farm. I don't want to just copy one, although I might end up copying one. I prefer designing things myself, though. And basically, I was using the TNT glitch where you can drop like the arrow and it'll turn any block, including bedrock, into TNT to bore through this bedrock so I could get a ladder up there. And, of course, the last one, it fell down and blew up a bunch of netherrock, and I was like, man, that blew up so much netherrock, and it was just one piece of TNT. Then cut to me five minutes later with, like, three stacks of TNT just all around here. And this is what I ended up with. Of course, the, the snow and stuff I had to farm, and all that clay, I had to go to the mesa biome and get that. But my, my idea with this is that the nether is so, like, hot and so lava and fiery oriented that I thought it would be cool to make a little place in here that was more ice uh, and I was even thinking about making like an ice version of another fortress possibly I haven't really decided quite yet but I'm going to decorate it up a little more one issue I was having was that ghasts were actually spawning uh, so I'm going to have to farm a bunch more snow and cover the entire floor with too high of snow covers basically so that mobs can't spawn there and that'll work it should prevent all mobs from spawning although I'll probably miss a few spots where and it'll they can spawn there basically uh, let's get some food cuz I'm about to starve to death and I'm not sure whether I want to put trees and stuff in there I was thinking like I could make it sort of like a tiger biome but then where am I looking for food here yes uh, but then, of course, it sort of makes it look smaller, I think, if I have trees in there. So I haven't really decided yet. Could go with the nether fortress idea, the ice fortress, basically. But again, it's going to make it look a little smaller, so I haven't decided. Uh, one idea I was having is that I could put icicles, like, at the top. That might be kind of cool. I haven't decided what to do for the ceiling yet. Uh, I sort of always feel like... If I'm building near the ceiling of the nether, I should use the bedrock as part of the design, just because you can't really use bedrock in any other way in Minecraft. Like, you never get to use it for building, in other words. So I feel like since that's the one time you can use it, I, feel, I always feel like I should. Uh, but here's where I was farming my snow. Now, this is interesting. Uh, do we have... We do have enough for a shuffle. Okay. There used to be a glitch in the game to where if you were farming snow uh, you could actually break both of these at the same time and I was trying to get it basically if you if you were like kind of far away and you like moved from this one and just barely onto this one it would break both of them at the same time you could get it twice as fast uh, but that didn't seem to be working so uh, this is just a pretty simple setup really I don't even need the piston here since this didn't end up working going back and forth uh, or getting it so that it would break both of them. But yeah, I didn't have like hopper set up or anything. I'd just farm, I'd go through X number of shovels and then craft all the snowballs using the trick where you uh, use your hockey. So I'd fill up my inventory, the snowballs would land here, and then I could just click, you know, four or five basically and craft them. So th it wasn't too bad, but for some reason, farming snow is like really <laughs> tedious for me. Like I. Uh, get the redstone block and fence post x-ray machine to work. Oh, oh, uh, you have to be right next to the fence when you place the block. Yeah, ever since, what was that, 1.6 that they fixed that, or maybe even 1.7? You have to be halfway in the block when it's placed for you to get the x-ray, so... Doing it with fences works really well that way. 
Okay. Uh, so yeah, I was saying farming snow is a little tedious. I don't mind farming like the cyan clay. Uh, but for some reason, snow just takes a long time. I, it or not takes a long time. It's just sort of like almost too repetitive. Like you're just sitting there and you just hold down click, and then you go up and you craft snowballs. I don't know. I wish there was an easier way to do it, but it's not too bad as far as uh, harvesting blocks go. So my plan is, uh, I think I'm gonna go into a creative world probably, and maybe design or start designing a. Uh, the whatchamacallit, the gold farm. I'm going to try to design my own gold farm, and I'm not sure how much of that I'll show, but I'll try to record it and see. I'll probably have to cut out some parts where I'm just uh, thinking of ideas, but yeah, let's go into a creative world and try to design something. Haha, -ha, here when it's raining I can toggle the downfall. Awesome. Okay, so my plan with this is that I don't want to use Okay, so there are a few designs that people use, right? Like they use uh, the piston pusher design where you have the pistons and then you have your spawning blocks like here and then you have a line of tripwire. That's a pretty common one. And then there are the shifting floor designs which usually have lines of tripwire and then the blocks... Oh, well, this, these would need to be half slabs. Blocks will shift back and forth and basically if uh, let's get zombie pigmen if there's a zombie pigmen on it it'll fall through uh, that's a pretty good design because it takes a lot less pistons but it's still pretty efficient and then there's also uh, the one that Etho and Doc made which is that in the snapshots zombie pigmen won't attack iron golems if the iron golems attack them so whether that's like a bug in the snapshot or is going to stay I don't really know so I'm gonna stay away from that design and also since uh, they just made it I don't really want to copy it my plan though is to do a shifting floor design let's see I'm gonna use regular pistons Put so inside there but instead of using tripwire see the thing with tripwire is you have to get a bunch of it and then you have to make it so that it's like you've got to do a fancy redstone contraption so that this is constantly going off and the other side is going off uh, basically in succession so this one has to go and then that one has to go this one has to go that one has to go and it, it just takes a lot of redstone pretty resource heavy maybe not quite as much as a straight up piston pusher design but it still takes a bit of stuff and my idea is that rather than have the mobs be uh, detected by tripwire, I'm just going to have the pistons go off manually, basically on a clock. Uh, but all of them going off at once on a clock is going to take a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of resources from the server. Basically, it's going to cause lag. Let's see. I think I want to do something like this. My plan is to use detector rails and mine carts and I'm not sure if this is gonna work we're gonna test it out here uh, do something like this and the idea is that we'd send a mine cart around and when the mine cart passes over the detector rails there we go it's going to activate these so place this here all those push and I just realized we need <laughs> we need something to push these back as well. Uh, that'll do. Just like this. Now the the tricky part about this, I think, is gonna be if a pigman is sort of between two of these. So if he's say right. Oh oh man, you're gonna run around on me. Just stay still for a sec. Stay. Stay. Oh, man, they need an easier way to spawn mobs that just don't move instead of using command blocks. All right, so ready, watch this. That didn't do anything, right? Because he was standing only half on this and half on this, which means I could move this one, and then I could move this one, 
but nothing would happen. They have to basically fire at essentially the same time, and that's where this is going to get a little tricky. So I think that if the minecart is going fast enough, it's not going to matter. And let's... Uh, Let's just get redstone for this side so we can basically activate this and reset it. Okay, and you are no longer good. We have to spawn a new one. Oh, it's a little baby guy. All right, so let's try this. So right there, he was only standing on one, so that doesn't necessarily mean that it worked. Uh, let's try to get him so he's standing on both. I think the minecart should be going fast enough. Yep, okay, ready? Here's the test. Oh, uh, hmm. He didn't glitch through. That might have been because he was standing on, like, the piston, though. Oh, don't walk around on me, guy. All right, let's, let's try this one more time. All right, perfect. Don't move around, don't move around. Okay, I think that is going to work. We're going to have to make sure that the minecart's moving extremely fast, though. Uh, that's going to be very important because remember if only one of them goes off and then there's too much of a delay pigmen are going to end up staying on there which means we're going to need to get hmm we might just need to put a break in it every once in a while that might be the best way to do it like every so many blocks we just need a couple power rails because obviously these power rails they won't be able to power the piston then uh, of course the other option is Hmm. Actually, hold on. If if we could use a bud switch design and we could actually incorporate power rails, this might work. Um Hmm. If we go like this. Okay, so since this piston is actually being or no, rather, this piston is being powered diagonally by this. Uh, normally, if we just place something on there, okay, that was a bad example. Unpower, okay. If we place something on there, oh, it did go on. Oh, because these are powering it. Oh, this might work, okay. Well, even if this wasn't here, what I was trying to show you was, uh, if you power this diagonally, it's not going to update, but since there's a piston here, it'll automatically update it, so that would work as well, but since we have the power rail, uh, that'll do it. This could actually be good. Alright, let's try this. See how well this works. Hmm, so it's sort of a couple at a time. Uh, what if we get it... What if we get it started with a few power rails so that it's going much faster? Uh, yeah, that's sort of tough. I'm not sure. Uh, we have to test this again. So, what order are they going off in? It's, it's two at a time, basically. So what we have to test is the delay between these first two and these second two, the sort of squares. All right, guys, just don't move. Stay right there. Go. Oh, he moved. All right. <laughs> Try this again. You stay right there. Oh, but he was on the piston that time. Oh, you're just sort of hovering there, aren't you, guy? Ah, uh, and he's going to fall off of this. All right. Last time before I, I I do a cut to figure this out. All right, there you go. No, 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 just stay. I guess we could just spawn a bunch, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's just spawn like 50 of them. And then run this and see how many stay. Oh, quite a few stay to look like. Hmm. Okay, so this design might not work. Uh, we might have to go with... Yeah, see, the problem is that they're getting powered like that. All right, let me cut real quick. All right, so I think the easiest way to do this is just going to be to have powered rails every once in a while. So have a break in the pistons for powered rails. And I'll fool around with, you know, how frequently we need them uh, to get the, basically what the minimum speed is, where the zombie pigment will still fall through. And that's going to be about it for this episode uh, for next episode, I'll come up with a more final design. We might even start building it. Of course, we're going to have to stop you know, magma cubes from spawning, so we might need some 
blocks and then half slabs on top of here and stuff like that but I'll figure all that stuff out so thank you for watching that's gonna be it for this episode I hope you enjoyed and there's a little clip here so I'll see you next time no yeah I love if you're on here with a bunch of people and then you just you choose a random person oh. and you pretend like they're really really famous <laughs> and you're just all like oh my gosh it's this person freaking it? out. water ninja water ninja I love you <laughs> water ninja is like um what <laughs> <laughs> My oh, little brother's in this game. <laughs> e even oh, random people are joining you. <laughs> he's, he's playing along. Oh, somebody found you, Keth. They're oh, gonna man. think it's real now because they See now, you. this this guy's getting confused. Who's Water Ninja? <laughs> Only best YouTuber ever. <laughs>